Master Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the git. <laughs> Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me. Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krakowitz. How's the mood in there? Yeah. Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Step careful there. as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an aunt crates to wear the crown, it... Should be you, because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it? Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Don't your mug smacked? Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkarls with me? Wonder who'll do better, you or Yalmar the Giant Slayer? Stop your shite boasting! Ceres! Hey! God damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw, she's so. so. My stomach, fierce, mule headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Cyrus. Well, they're twins in that regard. Don't see Krak. He talking to the Oz? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witcher, perhaps you'd fancy some fifty cups with the Vilkars. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. My teeth? Most of them did quite a number on you. Why are you laughing? They'd have trashed you too. <laughs> Doubt it. That's so. Care to wager on it? Drop any one of the build cards and I'll give you my sword. End up like me, you part with yours. Filled cards. Who are they? Ah, uh, these wild men. Live in the hills. Shepherds then? Aye, without the sheep. They live off killing, eat only what they hunt, and they fight like no one else. You're on. Start wrapping that sword for me. Don't sell your fish till they're in the boat, Wolf! <laughs> Heard you're taking on challengers in fist fights. Challengers? Ah, nay. Ain't none a challenge to us. We're here to hit. Hit till our fists are red with blood. Let's do this. Gladly!
what a fight. Smacked his gob so hard it's a wonder his brain didn't fly out of his ears. Well, lost the wager. But that was such a spectacle, I don't even mind. Here, may it serve you well. Something I've always wondered. What do you witches do once there are no battles? Never Heard you're taking on challengers in fist fights. Challengers? Ah, nah. We're here to hit. Not in the mood to fight. That time of the month, eh? Get out of here, you green cunt. Soon as the mood strikes. Fight. Fight. Never have beat me if I weren't five time guards then. And bring on someone sober. Think you can find one? I can. Night still young. I smell blood! <laughs> Fight good for a continental. market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not gonna vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true-born son, and then on to his sons. What's wrong with voting for your king? 
Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favourable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Yarns will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kerr Twelda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, a hackamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Saw you talking to Berna. What about? Politics. After all, North else interests her. Wench tried to convince me that we must honor Brand's memory. And to that aim, I'm to command my offspring to withdraw from the race for the crown. Supports Farnrigger instead. Why do I think you turned her down? <laughs> you put it mildly. I showed her the door. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. <laughs> They're as different as fire and water. But on crate blood flows in both. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through. The for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who would send emissaries, move figurines about a map? Calculate the most profitable option? Then yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler. The kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalma. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one.
cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <laughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my da. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos, and now you threaten my son. I will not stand for this. Then come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait! Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened? Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. And suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. Know who died? Drogadar. Drakeborn Du. Blue Boy Lugos. Yalborn. Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankards on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did.